I know what you are. You're impossibly fast. And strong. Your skin is pale white and ice cold. Twilight is the big new blockbuster vampire motion picture. I am not now, never have been, and have no plans to become a 12-year-old girl, so this movie wasn't aimed at me. Uh, it's billed as sort of a vampire Romeo and Juliet set in the Pacific Northwest where Bella is the new kid in school and she meets a darkly alluring young man with a mime pale face named Edward. Edward's from the Cullen family, which turns out to be a family of vampires. My family, we're different from others of our kind. The uh, lead, played by uh, Kristen Stewart. Kristen Stewart's a very good actress in the role of Bella and uh, almost better than the movie deserves. Uh, you may have seen her in Into the Wild and some other sort of minor pictures. Very compelling, very interesting looking uh, girl who I think will go far and this, this movie will probably make her a star. Robert Pattinson is the newcomer. He was in Harry, Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix who plays Edward the Vampire and uh, the movie sort of has to keep these two apart because uh, if they ever get together then it would be like uh, that would be the end of the story. I only said it'd be better if we weren't friends, not that I didn't want to be. What does that mean? It means if you were smart, you'd stay away from me. Awful lot of exposition in the movie. It takes really an hour to get going before the main plot kicks in, which is the good vampires against the, the evil vampires. I'm sorry. The book was written by a Mormon writer and uh, it does have a sort of refreshingly innocent feel to it. Uh, when Edward and Bella get together they don't uh, really uh, hook up so much as they kind of go uh, flying through the forest and things like that. How old are you? Seventeen. How long have you been seventeen? A while. I know what you are. Say it out loud. Vampire. To me, uh, not really interesting enough for grown-ups who have uh, gotten used to much better superhero movies. I'm Kyle Smith, film critic for The New York Post. No.